Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Curly Girl Angela G. Grab some coffee, settle in. Today we are going to talk about makeup I think is re worth repurchasing um, because there's a lot of things that I don't currently have in my collection that I often think about repurchasing or have in the past repurchased time and time again. I can only go through so much makeup, so just because I love a product doesn't mean that I always immediately repurchase it when I use it up if I have something else that kind of takes its place. So these are the list of things that if I, you know, wasn't worried about them going to waste, I would immediately go repurchase, or if I had unlimited funds, I would probably go repurchase. So a lot of them you will notice are drugstore, but there is a few, or a few higher end products in here but most of it is drugstore. These are products that are tried and true. I love them. I know that I recommend them. And even though you don't see them in my collection right now, um, they are definitely still favorites that I think are worth purchasing. Since I don't have most of these items, I'm going to throw a picture up here for you so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, some of these I do have and they're almost gone and they're in my cart to repurchase. Some of them are things that I have used up in the past and they're on my loves list, but I still haven't repurchased them. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Absolutely love this foundation. It can be sheared out to be just a tint of color on your skin. It can also be built up to high low coverage or low medium coverage depending on how you build it. It looks beautiful on my normal to dry skin and I have never had this look bad on my skin. I used up the entire bottle. It is definitely one I will repurchase very soon um, but I have an had an influx of foundations in the last year. So I, even though I finished this up last year, I haven't repurchased it yet. Um, but I definitely will soon because I definitely miss it. The next one is the Elf Cosmetics Power Grip Primer Plus 4% Niacinamide. This is like my absolute favorite primer. Um, I did finish this, but because I had some other primers that I need to get through, I haven't repurchased it. And then my daughter recently gave me the regular Paragrip primer, the green one. So I want to get through that before I repurchase this one because I don't feel like I need two of them in my collection. But that primer just looks beautiful on my skin. My skin loves niacinamide. And while I don't recommend relying solely on makeup for skincare, I do feel like that when I use this consistently, I do notice a difference in my skin. So I think the skincare can work if you're using it consistently. Next is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot Eyeshadow in Painterly. Mine is almost gone and I will immediately repurchase this one because I have never found a better eyeshadow primer for myself. When I use this, it makes my eyes look a lot less textured and everything and it just helps my eyeshadow stay put and I really, really love it. So this will be an immediate repurchase and I'm dreading that because it's not a cheap product but it is getting really, really low. And so sometime this year I'll have to repurchase it, but I definitely recommend it. And especially if you have more textured eyelids, um, but let me know if you have tried it and what your thoughts are on it. Next is the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist with Hyaluronic Acid and Black Oat. And I love this setting spray. It's probably my favorite hydrating setting spray that I've ever tried. Um, it's a little pricier at the drugstore, so I haven't repurchased it yet, but I definitely will. And I know that they sell a bigger bottle of it that's 20 bucks. The regular one is 15 and there's quite a bit more in the $20 one. So I definitely will be repurchasing this. I picked up an e.l.f. one recently, Coconut Dewy one. Not loving, loving it. So I will definitely be picking this one up again soon. Speaking of setting sprays, also the Milani Make It Last. I really love this one. I've been using the e.l.f. one, the Microfine setting mist. Um, I have repurchased that one time and time again, but I definitely um, love the Milani one for longevity in my makeup. I do think the e.l.f. one is good too, but the Milani one does sell a big one now, and I kind of miss it. I... I love the e.l.f. one, but I love the Milani one, and they're both very, very similar. Um, so I don't know for sure when I will pick that one up, but I definitely want to try it again. So next is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It is the brow pencil that I use every single day. I just opened a new one. You would have seen that in my empties, That I, or if it's up, if it's not, it'll be coming. But 
I finished the um, brow pencil and opened a new one. I always have one for backup. I love that brow pencil. I do better with it than I do the microfine br uh, brow pencil, which, you know, is fine. I would say that that one's good too. I just do better with the fatter one. So either one of those pencils would be really good and I would definitely recommend them. And I have repurchased both of them at various times in the past. Also the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I love this tinted brow gel. It is so nice. It's got fibers in it. It's just really easy to apply. Gives my brows some volume and I really love that. Um, I currently have it right now. I'm working my way through some clear brow gels and stuff, but I definitely love the e.l.f. Wow Brow and I've repurchased it multiple times in the past. Next is the Bobbi Brown Skin Color Corrector Stick. Now, there's a caveat to this one. I got this one in PR and it is almost gone. <clears throat> and it is almost gone, but I absolutely love this. Do think it's worth the money, would recommend it. However, I'm not going to immediately repurchase it, I don't think, because I really wanna try the Peachy Pink Corrector from NYX instead. Um, but let me know what your thoughts on that are. If you've tried it, the one in the stick, the fix it one, um, I'll throw a picture up here so you can see what I'm talking about. But I love the Bobbi Brown one. It is so good for color correcting my dark circles and everything. And it's very emollient, so it doesn't get dry looking under my eyes. So I do think that one is definitely worth the money and I will probably repurchase it at some point. But as I've said, I am always testing lots of new things, so I don't think it will be immediate. The Elf Squeeze Me Lip Balms. These are definitely a repurchase. I finished up a Honey Do One, repurchased that. Also purchased the Strawberry. I'm almost done with the Strawberry one, and I will definitely be repurchasing these again. I do want to try the Grape and the Peach both as well. They have a vanilla one, but I don't do vanilla, so I won't be picking that one up. But these are only $4, and they are so hydrating on the lips. They're perfect for the pocket or the purse or the makeup bag, whatever you want to do with them. I like having multiples so that I have them all over the place because they are my new favorite lip balm. Next is the Elf Putty Bronzer. And I did use one up in the shade Tan Lines and repurchased it. Then my girl Kyra at Journey and Beauty, I will leave her tagged below, had given me the shade Honey Drip. I do think the Honey Drip shade is better and my niece was looking for a cream bronzer. So I gave her the Tan Lines one, but I did repurchase it. Do love those. Well, I have pan on the Honey Drip one now and when it is gone, I will definitely be repurchasing it. I know a lot of people don't like these because they are kind of sheer. <coughs> and you have to build them up, but I really love the Elf Putty Bronzers, so I will definitely be repurchasing that, and I do think they are worth the money. Next is the Essence Silky Nude Eyeliner. They did change the um, name of this. I'll put the picture up of what it is now. It's like Stay and Play or something like that, but I have repurchased this multiple times. It is my favorite waterline eye pencil and it is dirt cheap so i definitely think if you're looking for a nude liner for the waterline this is a really good option and i will continue to repurchase it for a very long time i did pick up their dark brown one recently love it just as much and as i use up some of my eyeliners i will probably purchase these ones specifically in other colors as well Next is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I Kyra used hers on me for my wedding in June last year. Then I immediately purchased it. I just finished it up and repurchased it in the brown shade, but I definitely will still be picking up the black shade again as well. I like both of them. This is by far my favorite mascara and de definitely worth the money, especially if you can wait until they're like buy one, get one at Ulta or something. They are an absolutely amazing mascara and I highly recommend them. Next is the Essence Lash Princess False Slash Effect Mascara. This is probably one of my other favorite mascaras. Um, I also like the L'Oreal Telescopic, but I really love the Essence one. I haven't had it in a while, but I repurchased that one for years. I That was my go-to. So I definitely recommend that one. And I think it's under $5 or right around $5. So definitely great for a beauty on a budget. Another foundation is the Misha BB Cream. This one will be repurchased very, very soon. I'm working on using up another BB Cream and then I will pick this one up. Absolutely love it. have gone through two of them now and they are my favorite foundation or BB Cream type product that I have ever used. So highly recommend the BB Cream if you haven't picked it up. You can get that on Amazon and it is just so good on my mature 
um, drier skin. It's hydrating and smoothing, and I just really, really love it. Next is a sunscreen, the Bliss Blockstar SPF 30. Right now I have several sunscreens I'm working through and I miss this one like crazy. It's a tinted sunscreen, but it is so beautiful all by itself or under makeup. And I do plan on picking this up before summer because it is my go-to in the summer, especially on days I don't wanna wear makeup, but I do really love it under makeup as well. And I highly recommend it. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't have a white cast. Like I said, it's tinted and I really, really love it. And I definitely think it's worth the money. I will tell you it's a little pricier at Ulta, I believe, than it is anywhere else, but I really love it. Next is a Milani understatement lip liner, specifically in the shade Nude Entrance. Have repurchased this multiple times. I don't currently have it in my collection, I'm trying to get through some of the ones that are really similar to it, but that is a fantastic formula and it's affordable and I absolutely love that one and will definitely be repurchasing it. And last but not least is MAC Fix Plus. This is a higher end product, but so worth the money. It feels so luxurious and beautiful to my skin. I just haven't purchased it because of the price for a while, but when I was using it regularly, I still think it is worth the price. I just have to pay attention to my budget. So I have found some cheaper alternatives, but especially if you're into high-end um, makeup and skincare and things like that, I do think Max Fix mac fix plus is worth the money so there's a whole list of products for you that while i don't have some of them in my collection currently i have repurchased at least once or twice in the past absolutely love them want to repurchase them and i highly recommend them so let me know if you have any favorites that were on this list or anything that you didn't like i'd like to know that too um if you tried any of these products and didn't like them or they didn't work for you i always say everything is different works different for different skin types and preferences and all those things but these are all products that i really love so if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up that helps me out so much lets me know you enjoy these types of videos and I will go ahead and link my favorites playlist down below. I did a beauty and lifestyle favorites video recently, so you can check that out if you're interested. And let me know if there is any specific brand you would like to start my top five from a brand um, series about, because I do plan to start that soon. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you don't miss future videos. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I post a lot of videos over there as well. And you can always see what I'm actually using up on a regular basis by watching my empties. So I'll leave that playlist linked down below for you as well. And don't forget to comment. And I'll see you again very soon. Have an absolutely beautiful day wherever you are. Bye.